Are you planning on moving to Spain and are confused about whether to apply for a niña or a tía? In this following video, we'll explain the differences between the two. Before we begin, make sure you like and subscribe to our channel to stay up to date on all our new content. Our clients often have doubts about the differences between a niña or a tía. While it is true that obtaining a niña will allow you to do such things as buying a property, it will not be enough for you to work in Spain. Let's summarize first the acronyms NIA and TIA. The NIA is the National Identification Number for Foreigners. The TIA refers to the actual card that you receive when you apply for residency. The NIA number refers to the specific NIE identification number, such as your national ID when referring to the United States. The TIA refers to the actual card, the physical card itself, that you'll receive when you apply for residency. The NIA actually refers to the specific identification number that you're assigned when you apply for this procedure. The TIA card is the physical card that will also include your NIA. So this means even though you may have a NIA number, you may not actually have a TIA. The NIA number, as contrary to the TIA, cannot be renewed. The NIA refers to the number that you will have forever. The TIA card does have an expiration and you will have to renew it. In pertaining to the NIA, you'll be able to request a NIA number once your residency has been approved. As far as the TIA, the TIA requires a different procedure. As it is a physical card, you will have to go to your local police station, take your fingerprints, and later fill out another request to pick up your TIA. Now that we've identified the differences between the NIA and the TIA, we will give you the option to help you with this process if you need it. Be sure to comment below or subscribe to our channel and feel free to reach out to us if you need help with this procedure. Thank you very much.